the August edition of Coursera Weekend. You're all welcome, guys. Mr. Caleb, let us fire away. All right, thank you very much. Um, we'll start immediately. Um, but before we start, I want to give you guys a brief overview of Coursera and what we are doing. Um, Coursera is a global learning platform where you have the opportunity to learn from professors and major universities and organizations across the world. So what we did initially in 2021 was to email Coursera to get their approval for what we are doing. And Coursera gave us the go ahead to see how we can teach people on how they can get financial aid on Coursera. And this class is free of charge and Coursera gave us all the support we need to do this free of charge. So um, at the end of the class, we'll, we'll provide every information and everything you need to apply for financial aid on Coursera. So I'll quickly um, dive into the main program. But before I start, please, I'll be asking a question as I proceed. So please, um, you need to come up with the name of a course where we'll just run um, the practical on how you can apply for financial aid for the course. So what you do first is, oh, I need to share my screen, sorry. Um, go to your browser. You can either use Chrome. I always prefer using Chrome or, or Firefox, any browser you have. But know that Coursera also has a mobile app, but there are some features you enjoy on your browser that you won't enjoy on your on the mobile app. So all you need to do is just to type Coursera if you are joining Coursera new. Yes, please, can you still see my screen? I don't know what I'm seeing. Yes, you are seeing it. Okay, thank you very much. So after typing Coursera, you see this option here where um, you see the official website of Coursera. So all you need to do is just to click the official website of Coursera yeah after which it will bring you to this interface where you'll be asked to to join coursera so you can just click on join coursera for free yeah so after clicking on join for free you now have the option of um, joining with your full name your email address and you create a password or you can join with google or Facebook. So if um, your name, the name you use on your Google aligns with the name on your other credentials, you can just click on continue with Google. But if the name on your Google is different from the name on your other credentials, like your certificate, please feel free to enter the full name here. Because the name you use here is going to be what will appear on your certificate. So that's why you have to be very careful with it. So for me, I've always joined with Google. So I'll just click on continue with Google. Yeah, you give it some time to load. Yes. So um, it's now bring you to the home page of Coursera. So um on this home page of coursera for people joining coursera new you'll be asked to answer some questions about yourself so um you you are free to do that but for me i've always have i've been a member of coursera so there's no point um asking those questions so on this interface you see that you have a lot of things to to see here so but basically our point of call here is this search icon so for for you that is joining Coursera and you, this search tab is where you will search any course you would like to do on Coursera. So um, please, can someone come up with the name of any course so that we can do um, the search together? Animal science. Animal, animal <laughs> science. OK, thank you very much. Yeah. I will um, address that point after searching the name of the course. Um, animal, science. animal science. Okay. 
Now, you have um, 96 results for animal science. But know that animal science is a very broad topic. And Coursera works basically when you are course specific. So if you check under the results we are having under animal science, you will see that we are having introduction to genetics and evolution. We are having, do you have what it takes to be a veterinarian? dog emotion and cognition so you have to be course specific for all these courses showing here these 96 results showing there are places where animal science are mentioned in the course that's why you're having everything so for you to really get um, a good course on coursera please ensure you are course specific so under animal science you can select a topic under animal science because calling animal science you are just giving Coursera a whole lot of work to do. So um, let me say uh, we go with um, the horse course introduction to, okay, no, no, it's very broad. Okay, we'll just go with one. So let's go with animals and the society. So all you need to do is just to click on the course, animals and the society. Yeah, so um, it will bring you to this interface. So you have to be very careful here too. So when you get to this interface, who is not when you get to this interface look out for where it is written financial aid available so for um i can say 99.9 percent .9 of all courses on coursera have financial aid so always look out for where it's written financial aid available please can you still see my screen yes i can see yes okay, yes, thank yes, you. yes all right thank you yes. so, okay thank you so all you need to do is click on financial aid available yeah, so you now um, come to this interface. So know that this course has three series. It has course one, course two, course three. And for any of this course, the money you are supposed to pay is $49. So if you are doing course one, if you are not going for the financial aid, you pay $49. Course two, you pay $49. Course three, you pay $49. So um, applying for financial aid simply means you are getting this course free of charge. But note that course one, you need to apply for financial aid for course one. You also need to apply for financial aid for course two. And you also need to apply for financial aid for course three. So we'll now we'll first apply for financial aid for course one. So all you need to do is just to click on next because it is already on course one. Yes. Yeah, so um, application take up to 16 days to be reviewed. If approved, you'll be eligible to receive up to 75% of the regular price. So this is what I'm talking about on Coursera. I'll address this later. So now you now click on continue to the application. Please mute yourself. I can't mute you from here. Yeah, so this is the first step of your um, application. So here you need to choose your level of education. So either high school, some college, um, master's or advanced degree. So it depends on the level you are. So let's go with college degree. Now for annual income, it is advised you, if you are not doing anything, you can put zero but if you are doing something you can put the amount you earn annually but in your essay you must be ready to convince Coursera that in as much as you are earning something annually the money will not be enough for you to pay for your online courses so you have to be very careful about this and also ensure that the currency is in USD if the currency is in any other currency is not going to work. So ensure that the currency is in USD. So for employment status, um, either part-time, unemployed, you select the one that is applicable to you. So um, this is the first work you need to do, reason you apply for aid. So here, you need to convince Coursera the reason you are applying for the financial aid. So um, for the benefit of this class, we've been able to answer all the questions you need to answer so at the end of the class we'll send you a guide on how you can write your ac the essence of um the guide is to guide you on how to write your ac please 
do not copy and paste please edit the ac let it tell your story so you must ensure it's also 150 words you see that it is 150 words here if it's less than 150 words you won't get the prompt to continue so you now click on i've reviewed my information and everything is up to date then you click on next now after clicking on next you still have some questions to answer so how much can you pay for your selected course so if you can't pay anything you still go with zero and ensure that the currency is still dollars now how will your selected course help with your goals so you still need to answer the question here about 150 words so the guide we are going to send contains all these things so all you need to do is just to read it and write it according to your own story so you now come up with um you select these two options i am sharing accurate information on my application and i commit to finishing my coursera course then you type please type the following sentence i agree to the terms above yeah so after agreeing to the terms above you click i am not a robot yeah. after clicking i'm not a robot here yeah, you just be asked to verify to verify this so after verifying it um this review icon is normally supposed to change to blue then you click on it then you review your answer then you submit so at the end of the 15th day your course will be approved you get a notification in your email and you can proceed to your course but note that for every course you need to write exam or assessment at the end of every week so it's when you are done with the exam of um the week that you can proceed to the to the next week and also note that um coursera is self spaced you can finish a a five weeks course within two weeks provided you have the time and the data so um and for every course you write an exam at the end of um the course you'll be asked to still write an, another exam so after everything you'll be given your certificate and this certificate is um, a digital certificate and you can also print it your certificate comes with a link that is verifiable so you can add this link to your cv or your linkedin profile and also you can present the link as an evidence um, if anybody clicks the link it takes them directly to your profile on coursera detailing the date you did the course the grade you got in the course so this is just a simple step on how you can apply for financial aid on coursera so i'll return the mic back to scientist franklin for questions and answer thank you very much all right uh, thank you so much uh, mr caleb for that uh, very quick one uh, i really appreciate uh, you, you made very good use of uh, the time given to you so just like he said uh Coursera weekend didn't start today this is more than two years running and uh, we appreciate your presence and uh, you know your time